Days after Greensboro protests turned violent, many downtown businesses are still boarded up tonight. WFMY News News I, Denise McMiller, spoke to some store owners on how the recovery process is going. A weekend of unrest isn't easy for businesses to deal with. I spoke with one business owner who says that boarding up his business is actually hurting his clientele. Along Elm Street, you'll find dozens of businesses in downtown Greensboro boarded up after a weekend of protest. For businesses to not to lose windows and all this crazy, unnecessary violence, but it still put a hamper, a hamper on my business as a, as a whole. So Boho Salon owner Kenny Callum grabbed his salon chair and cut hair outside to attract customers. Since his landlord boarded up his business after the building was damaged. My plan is eventually to pull this, pull these boards off my business because I want, I want people to know that I'm not going to be afraid. I want people to understand change is necessary, but we don't have to hide oh, behind sweet. these boards. I love that. Just one block down, the executive director of the Greensboro Community Theater, Rosalind Fulton, says they were also hit. Um, our front window uh, was smashed in and there was a little bit of damage done uh, to a TV that we had inside the theater. We, we understand that people want to get their voice heard, um, but, you know, we just looking at other ways how, how people can express themselves. And my daughter used to do theater here, so I have a past relationship with them, so I reached out to them to see if they needed help. Artist Sham Ferreira Holden decided painting this mural she calls Radiate Love would lift the community's spirit. But on the side part, you'll see the hands are coming together and making hearts in the negative space. So it's all just about radiating love and not hate, seeing the good in everybody and coming together. Yeah, it's turning something that was very devastating uh, to our city into something very beautiful. And Boho salon owner Kenny Callen says he wants people to know that the businesses downtown are open and he encourages the community to come out to shop. <laughs>